In this video, I'll demonstrate some of the ways to manipulate the overall worksheet in Excel. Recall, the overall file is called a workbook, and within the workbook, there is always at least one worksheet. This terminology is specific to Excel. You may also hear people use the word spreadsheet, which generally refers to data being organized in rows and columns the way that Excel does. You will always start with at least one worksheet by default. But if you prefer to begin with more than one every time you create a new workbook, you can change the setting by going to File, Options, General, and then under When Creating New Workbooks, include this many sheets. I'm going to leave this as one for this demonstration because I can also manually add as many worksheets as I need by clicking the New Sheet command, which is represented by this plus sign in a circle. Each time I click, a new worksheet will appear. To change a worksheet's name, I can double-click on the Worksheet tab, or I can right-click and select Rename. When you're naming worksheets, each one inside of the same workbook must have a unique name, but Excel will stop you if you try to reuse a name. It's easy to move and copy worksheets. To change the order of the worksheet tabs, click on the tab and while holding the mouse button down, drag it to a new position and release the mouse button. Copying a worksheet will reproduce its contents on a fresh tab within the same workbook. Follow the previous procedure, but this time start by holding Control before you click and drag the worksheet that you wish to copy. Alternatively, you can right-click on the tab Select Move or Copy, choose a position if you just want to move it, or check the box for Create a Copy if you wish to copy it, and then OK. Changing the color of worksheet tabs can help you organize your data. Right-click on the tab, and then select Tab Color, and choose a color. To delete a worksheet, right-click on its tab and click Delete. So far in this demonstration, I've used the interface directly and through the context menu that appears when you right-click on a tab, but you should also know that you can access the same commands if you go to the Home tab, Cells group, Format, and click to reveal the menu. The command for deleting an entire worksheet is next door to this. Now let's look at changing the page setup options. This is very similar to Word. You can change the orientation of the page by going to Page Layout, Page Setup, and then Orientation. From there, choose Portrait or Landscape. To change the margins, use the Margins command to the left of Orientation. Formatting page breaks in Excel is less obvious than it is in Word, because in Word you're always working downwards in a document but in Excel you can work downwards and towards the right. Here I've entered simple numbers to correspond with the pages that I intend for each cluster of numbers to appear on when I print this worksheet. To insert a page break, go to Page Layout, Page Setup, Breaks, and then Insert Page Break. 
If you select a row, the page break will appear above your selection. And if you select a column, the page break will appear to the left of your selection. When you're trying to format page breaks to get the right portion of data on each page, it's helpful to use the page break preview, which you can access by going to the View tab, Workbook Views, and Page Break Preview. From the Page Setup group, back on the Page Layout tab, notice that you can remove or reset all page breaks. I'll repeat the procedure for inserting the page breaks from this perspective. It's also important to know how to set the print area in Excel because you won't always want to print the entire worksheet if it contains a lot of data. Fortunately, this is straightforward. Select the cells you want to print, then on the Page Layout tab, Page Setup Group, go to the Print Area command and select Set Print Area. You can also clear the print area from the same menu. If you wish for the grid lines or headings to appear when you print, you can check the pertinent box beside print for either one in the Sheet Options group. Aside from the skill of using Excel to manage your data, it can take some time to become familiar with how to organize your data among various tabs and to learn how to print portions of your data in ways that make sense. Review this video later if you have trouble manipulating a large worksheet.